back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico. And this week is a very, very special one. The Oval Racetrack is officially here in the stadium. You can actually go and do all of your free roaming around the stadium. We will do some exploring in a second. Today is officially the day you can unlock the Lamborghini Huracan STO. It shouldn't take us too long to do, but Forzathon shop... Never, never mind. I get, I, let's, let's just, let's just go and get 20 points. Let's go! Yes! And just like that, the Hurricane STO has been unlocked. Hurricane STO is essentially the race version of the Hurricane. It's got an awesome V10 engine, 630 horsepower. It's one of the lightest Lamborghini Hurricanes made. I'm excited to drive this thing. This wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Lamborghini Hurricane STO. Where do I begin with this fantastic car? I can start this video off by telling you it's a race car for the road and it's extremely loud, but you already know all of those things. I want to show you how insane Lamborghini takes this car. Take a look at this. Let me open up photo mode quickly. You see that little box? That is a camera. Lamborghini sells this car to you with an integrated camera so you can record driving around a race circuit. There's also an optional extra for this car that has like built-in telemetry and will map out the circuit you're driving on it will give you split times for like sectors there's an even cooler feature you know how cars have launch control nowadays not lamborghini no well technically lamborghini's decided to give their launch control system a funny name. This is an actual fact. Launch control in the Hurricane STO is called thrust mode. On the topic of thrusting, this is the Thrustmaster XR Pro Forza Horizon 5 controller. And we're giving away two of them right now on the AR12 Discord server. The giveaway actually ends tomorrow, so make sure you're quick. I would officially like to apply as the CEO of Lamborghini, and I'm gonna immediately implement a new rule. It is a very simple rule and a very simple question that you need to answer correctly if you would like to buy a Lamborghini while I am the CEO. Will you rev it when a child goes like this. If you answer no, you are not allowed to buy a Lamborghini. Other than that, as my time as CEO, everything else will remain the same other than the fact that every car will be painted blue. So not only is this car beautiful, it sounds incredible, is insanely quick, and now it's time to make it even more insane. The Hurricane STO is already pretty close to the top of S1 class. So why don't we see immediately how good we could actually make it in S1 class with some upgrades. So we've got our V10 with 630 horsepower. We can swap in a 700 horsepower V12. A, a Ferrari V12? That just seems illegal. Definitely illegal. I'm keeping the stock engine in. I guess I should make it more Lamborghini and make it all wheel drive, even though technically that might make it worse. Yo, the front arrow actually looks pretty sick. Why does it remove the little reflector? I'm gonna toss the race front bumper on. That should be helpful. Then we've got an important question to ask ourselves. Do we swap on rally tires so we could get like some better suspension and more horsepower? Or do we keep the stock tires on? I feel like rally tires are actually gonna be better. We've also got some engine spacers. Not bad. I would have preferred a couple more inches, but so would your girlfriend. Then we've got our drivetrain. We've already got a six speed transmission, upgrade the different, that's a drive shaft, and toss a differential on. Would you like another fun fact about this car? The Lamborghini Huracan STO comes with brakes that use F1 technology. Don't know if anybody's told Lamborghini this, but they don't have a Formula One team. Anyways, I'm gonna upgrade them anyway. We've already got race suspension on, we can toss drift suspension on. We will definitely come back to that. Top of S1 class, 650 horsepower. Remember, always round up. And very, very lightweight. Final thing, we do have some advanced painting options. So group one, that is going to be the main body of the car. Group number two, that's gonna be all of the carbon fibery bits. Okay, so like that secondary trim color. And then paint group number three is a stripe on the side. Oh, smash. 
Smash. Also smash. If anybody says that this is not a good looking car, are you okay? Like, we can get help for you because this is just... Oh, let's try it out on the oval. Let's see how much understeer it has. You don't need to brake. You just need to do little lifts every now and again. Up the inside. It's always a Ferrari driver, huh? Now that I'm able to figure out kind of how it's able to drive, there go the jets. Draft off the 911, go wide and maybe get a run down here. Yes! Yes! What a call! All right, one more guy to go. What is that? Is that a is that a McLaren? I think it is a McLaren. Prove that Lamborghini is the king of supercars. This might very well be my favorite car on sale today. It's incredible. Oh, uh-oh. Um, um, guys, I have found another thing the Hurricane SDO can do. It apparently has lots of downforce. I might not win the race, but at least I've done science. I'm not gonna lie, we might have taken an L. Look at the lap time. How much is a Hurricane STO in real life? One second, I'm just gonna go on Auto Trader. It's $600,000 for one of these in Canada? All right, never mind. <laughs> it's a nice car. It's not $600,000 nice. Never mind. I am no longer interested in the Hurricane STO. Anyways, let's go and make it a little faster. Think the most powerful engine is going to be this, the 6.5 liter V12. V12 with anti-lag. Now it sounds like a Lamborghini. Oh my God, we're X-Class. This is going to be ridiculous. Okay, then I'm going to go for super lightweight rims. Are you ready to see an undrivable car? Let's go, Hurricane STO. What a beautiful beautiful looking car. We've still got the first gear glitch. It's gear one and then gear 1.5 if you didn't notice. Don't believe me? Rewind that. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> Time to see if this thing also gets an absurd amount of understeer. Somehow it's not. Jeez, this thing is fast in X-Class. The anti-lag is so sick with the V12. Okay, go. Reel them in. Reel them in. Reel them in. I think this is just gonna be... Oh, no, that's a big break. Big break. Big crash. It is certainly a handful to drive. I can promise you that. Flat through there, straight up the hill. You can see the thing leaning on the suspension as it goes through the left-hand corner. Can I get laid on the brakes on the Mustang? N yes. Got him in the middle of the corner. This is the only place where I think I actually gain. Flat through there, straight up the left. And then get laid on the brakes up the inside. Didn't really. Didn't do that. Oh, we're going to get him in the corner, though. Beautiful move, Hurricane. Yes. I love this car. And there is nothing else that you can say to change my mind. Other than the fact that it's 600k. <laughs> Across the line. Nick said it was going to be a death trap, but it was drivable. That is true. I think I've just got to turn it into a death trap. And by me, I mean steel work for my good friend, Golden. Introducing... The Hurricane STO Storato. Oh my god, it actually looks like the Storato to to to. This is a bad idea. Are you ready to see gear one and then gear 1.5? Watch, watch down in the bottom right. There's first gear. Up to first. Make it first point five and then up to second. Game is uh having some issues currently. Hurricane, I know this isn't what you were originally designed for, but it is what I'm going to do with you. With the big chunky off-roaders and massive rally suspension. Why not? Keep going, Hurricane. Upside the Camaro. This thing's actually very nice. What? Bro, it's so grippy. You could fully see I was coming into that corner expecting to slide super wide. I just didn't. It's unreal grippy. Use the water to slow down. That's a big brain play there. I've now flooded the Lamborghini. I definitely have had better ideas than this one. I'm just blown away by how grippy it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's definitely not the best rally car ever made, but it is really, really cool. If I was a billionaire, I would do that. I would. I would. That'd be fun. So now we're about to do what no Lamborghini has ever done before. Drifting. We're gonna go stock engine. I feel like I should actually keep it rear wheel drive, but then with the stock engine, toss on some of that beautiful anti-lag. Then I'm gonna keep my F1 inspired brakes. I will toss on 
drift suspension and weight reduction and some no flippy business. A thousand horsepower. We're super lightweight. I like the sound of this. This is not going to be a very good drift car. It's just, it's not going to be. But I think we need to give it the best chance we can. And I think on a drift zone like this, that's where it'll have the best chance. My personal best is 240k. I think if I could get 200k, that might be good. Come on, Lambo. Into the drift zone we go. Shoot those flames everywhere. Now, because this thing isn't all-wheel drive, we're not going to be getting the maximum amount of points that we would usually be able to. But I still think it would be pretty decent at this. There's 100k nearly. There we go. 100k already. Oh, this thing is awesome. 185? We are going to get 200k. Yo, what a monster. 220k. Let's go. We got to go do some exploring around the stadium now that we can actually drive around this place. Obviously, we've already seen a whole bunch of the racetrack, but there are also all of these lovely areas to go and do some drifting. Imagine coming through here, hitting all of your little clipping points and everything. I've spun! It's a seriously cool car with a seriously cool soundtrack, and at the end of the day, it's just an all-out rocket ship.